Okay, so in the previous video, we looked at my implementation of suggesting commands inside of Z Shell. Now I want to take a look at how I've implemented this in PowerShell, specifically the usability of the feature. And then later on, we'll explore how this is actually implemented under the hood, and that will be in further videos inside of this video series. All right, so over in PowerShell, if I want to ask a question, in this case, help me list out files, just hit Control B as well. That'll ask the question, and I should get a response back. There you go. And you can see at this case, it is specific to PowerShell with git child item. Now, that'll be a lot of files, so I'm not going to run that command. Instead, I'm going to change into a directory where I keep my repositories. And then if I list what I have here, I don't have my miscellaneous testing files repository. So if I know the name of it, but I don't quite remember how to clone it, I could say, help me clone a GitHub repo called, and then my username, and then misc test files. All right, so now when I hit Control B, that'll ask the OpenAI API, and it generates this command here. Looks pretty good. But what if I don't want to use HTTPS and instead I want to use SSH? Well, in that case, I could just say modify for SSH instead. Let's see what it does. Cross your fingers. There you go. Looks like that'll work. So now let's try that and see if we clone the repository. All right, looks like it worked. There is the new repo and I can change into it. Look at all the files. And there you go. So the idea is I can just type in a question. For example, let's look for big image files in nested directories where big is over one megabyte. Control B, that asks the question. And in a moment, hopefully we'll get a command back that will work. So in this case, it looks like it's approximately correct. It is looking for just JPEGs, whereas I probably want to have all file formats. But let's run this. And there you go. We actually do have two JPEG files that are over a megabyte in size. And then just to confirm this, let's modify this to one kilobyte instead. I get back three files this time, whereas I only had two before. So that's a few examples of using my PowerShell Copilot, if you will. I'm starting to get the hang of this. And I actually really like asking these questions right here inside the command line and not have to jump out to something like ChatGPT on a website, type in a question, get a response parse out all the nonsense I don't care about, the explanations, and then copy and paste that command back over in the terminal. Instead, it's all here in line right inside of PowerShell. If you have any improvements to this workflow, let me know in the comments. If it's something I really like, I'll even go to the trouble of making a video.